Hey everyone, welcome back to another figure review. A Star Wars figure review. Just to emphasize. Um, this one is one I wasn't planning on doing, but he just so happened to be on the shelf yesterday at HomeSense of all places, and he was half price, so I picked him up. And uh, I'm kind of on an embargo right now with hobbies and stuff, just because money is, <coughs> is extremely tight. So this is kind of a surprise review. I'm never going to do that little action again. So, it is um, Ponda Baba, Vintage Collection. Very, very solid figure, and you'll see why in just a minute. Um, where do I begin with this one? Uh, I have the Cantina set from 2003 or four. I don't know. But during the Saga Collection, they released um, Cantina little sections, and Ponda Baba came with one. That's how I got them. This figure, however, is an immense update over that one. As you can see, just the sculpt is brilliant. The articulation is solid. You'll see why in a minute. Um, so let's just jump right into it. Uh, accessories, again, because I'm cheap and don't like taking things out. He, has, he comes with a glass so he can drink his space Bacardi. And... Um, it actually, it's kind of hard to wedge it in there, but I did, and now it's probably never going to fall out. He also comes with a blaster pistol, which you can fit into the holster right there. Just kind of a standard, normal gun. Nothing too crazy. And I think the neat thing about this figure is, is he's chock full of extra limbs, which is weird when you say it, but if you know who the character is, you'll understand why. As you can see, his hands are kind of like just big cuff mitten sort of things, and that's because that's what his hands look like originally. But in the movie, when his hands are cut off, they are these normal human hands. And as you can see on this limb, he's actually got blood on his uh, outfit, which is kind of ballsy on Hasbro's part. And he also comes with uh, another removable sort of shoulder. So lots of body parts with this one. Articulation-wise, he holds up pretty well. Um, he's got a ball-jointed head, swivel torso ball jointed uh, shoulders, ball jointed elbows, uh, swivel wrists, uh, swivel legs, ball jointed knees, and ball jointed ankles. So for a cantina figure you can pose them in practically any pose you want. Uh, pretty good considering. Um, his companion, just for the background info section of this video, is uh, Dr. Evazan. I don't have him yet. I'm hoping to pick up the vintage one soon if he ever comes around here, but seeing the track rate of distribution in the past, I highly doubt it. So, moving along, uh, pretty... I like to do, as people know, these in-depth sort of background stories, things you may not have known about the characters. But the thing about Ponda Baba is he's not that... Whenever he gets his arm cut off, he does a few things, but that's it. Um... In the Tales of Can, I, th I think it's the Tales from the Cantina book. There's really well written short story books that I've already praised enough in the past, um, but you could never praise, you know, you could always praise more. But um, Ponda Baba and Evazan split up for a while, then they meet up again to kidnap a senator, and Ponda Baba gets put in his body, like his mind, and then I guess taken back out later on. And uh, I think right now he's arrested. He's just in jail, rotten away. So. Uh, he also gets a robotic arm, as you might have guessed, so uh, pretty neat. I would have been amazed if Hasbro added that robotic arm in as an extra accessory. That would have blown my mind in terms of just fan quality. Um, but you know, overall, the coloring, the coloring on this figure was always really good. The bright orange jacket, very space jockey flight sort of deal. A recurring thing, though, with aliens in Star Wars, and this goes for, like, Doctor Who and various other shows as well, is there's a lot of aliens that have an alien hands and alien head, and then the rest of the body is just generic human clothing. Um, for Doctor Who fans, that goes for the Ood, the Half, the Tridovors, uh, there's tons of different aliens that are like that. I think it's really cheap, but since Star Wars is made in 1977, um, this one was uh, pretty neat. I mean, for its time, of course. But, you know, I'm just rambling on now. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm so full of turkey that I'm going insane. 
So let's just go right to everyone's apparently new favorite portion, uh, the stand test. So I'll do this from now on, actually, just so you can see. Does he stand? No, he doesn't. That's because I didn't fix the articulation. His knees are bending back a bit. Yes, he stands. So uh, I don't know why. I think it's. I guess this is my new trait, my new interesting foray, if you will. Um, yeah. So hope you guys enjoyed. It was kind of a last minute review, so that's kind of why it's half-assed. But uh, um. Pretty solid figure. I'm happy I picked him up. Just another vintage collection guy to cross off my list. I had him carded, which before I end this, actually, let me show you the card back quickly. Uh, pretty cool. Just a nice big face close up. But the original, I think, had a better sort of portrait look to him, as you can see right there. Uh, the original figure, as you can see, the coloring is very off. But for the time, I mean, kids loved him. And you got more figures at the bottom. I am missing two of these, which are the Echo Base Soldier and Ayla Sakura. I have Bastila, Nominor Loose, and the 501st Carded. Let me build these, maybe pick up these two carded and these two carded and loose. Because I'm a big kind of completionist like that. But remember, I'm broke, so we'll see. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you're you know Cantina fanatic, if you're looking to build up a diorama, definitely pick them up. Uh, he's great for customization as well. You get solid sort of a quailish, that's his species, uh, body parts. So, bam. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. It's Thanksgiving weekend, so happy Thanksgiving, everybody. And before I go, because I promised this multiple videos earlier, I have to give a shout-out to a friend of mine, a close friend, Danica. She is the girl who, if you were curious, plays the doll in the Dollhouse teaser trailer. So here's your shout out, throwing it all over the internet. I'm going to give you a little funny face. And uh, I hope you're having a great Thanksgiving. So and that goes for all of you as well. Um, so uh, I, might, I think I have one more review I'm going to do. So until then, keep collecting and may the force be with you. That's never happening again. <laughs>